better stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on. Better stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on. Better stop. Now, what's that sound? Everybody look. Welcome to episode number five from chapter six. And this episode is going to deal with biodiversity. And we're really going to look at how do human beings impact the biodiversity in individual ecosystems and in the biosphere as a whole. So if we're going to talk about biodiversity, we better know what it's definition of. And that's right here. This is the sum total of the variety of organisms in the biosphere. And the higher the biodiversity, the better. Okay. Now, biodiversity comes in three different subcategories. You have ecosystem diversity, which means the higher uh, degree, I'll rephrase this one, the more and greater variety of ecosystems that you have in an individual biome, the better. Okay, we have species diversity, and this is really what we're talking about in biodiversity is how many different species are there in a given area. Now, within our biosphere, as far as we can tell, there's a little bit more than 1.5 million different species in the world. Now, the greater the number of species, the more stable any environment is going to be. And that's what we're looking for when it comes to biodiversity. And obviously, all living things have a genetic code. So the more living things that you have, in other words, the more and greater variety of species, the more and greater variety of genes you're going to have on the planet. And remember, genetic diversity is essential for the survival of any single species including human beings. Oh! All right. So how do humans impact biodiversity? Now, on this uh, slide, I'm going to have a bunch of uh, text boxes and a bunch of different uh, uh, pictures showing here. So make sure you really pay attention. Don't just scrub over the top of those. These are really going to help you understand what's going on. Okay, habitat alt alteration. Uh, humans may really come along to the habitat and bulldoze it over and put up a shopping mall. And obviously, that's going to have a great impact. Now, we see this a lot in our school district, and it's called habitat fragmentation. Now, fragmentation is going to limit the number of species because you have individual different pockets of ecosystems. So, for example, think about the neighborhood you live in. you got a housing addition. You've got uh, a woods, and then you've got farmland. And then you go over a couple more miles, and you got the same thing. Um, Farmland, housing addition, woods. That's all fragmented. It's not one continuous forest like it would have been three, four hundred years in this area. Okay? Hunting. Um, we have a big problem with many species in Africa and Asia being almost hunted to extinction. Uh, we've almost done that in our country. We've done that with uh, almost the American bison. We almost hunted that to extinction in the 1800s. Uh, we almost knocked the wolves out of into extinction and in fact in some of those places they have become extinct and we're reintroducing those think of yellowstone national forest okay pollution when you toss pollution into an ecosystem you can lead to biological magnification we took care of that a couple of screencasts ago now this is a very important concept so make sure you know this one for your test now here's one that's really impact in our area of the Midwest. And that's an invasive species. Now, invasive species, uh, these are a species that don't belong there. They were accidentally or on purpose sometimes put into the ecosystem. And what they do is they disrupt it because they do not have any of the natural checks on their growth. So in our area of Indiana, I want you to think of the zebra mussels. Now, m a lot of you guys have lake property, so you're going to be very familiar with this. These are the tiny little striped um, uh, clams that attach to everything, your boat, your dock, etc. They can plug up the water intakes when it comes to uh, getting fresh water out of a lake or a stream. Um, the biggest one that's impacting our area right now is the emerald ash borer. It's essentially wiped out uh, practically every single ash tree in our area. In fact, uh, the city of Fort Wayne has to chop down 30 some thousand trees have been killed by this bug, all right? In fact, my own neighborhood, pretty much every ash tree has been destroyed. And outside the freshman center, there used to be four uh, ash trees. Uh, these would be facing Carroll Road. Uh, they've all been chopped down and they were all destroyed by the, uh, the emerald ash borer. So pretty much wiping out one of the nicest trees that you're ever gonna find, okay? All right, let's move on here. 
Okay, now one of the most important places that we need to protect as human beings are areas of the world called an ecological hotspot or a biodiversity hotspot. And you notice these are typically along a coast, and you'll see in some of these rainforest areas. Um, these are where we have a lot of species, but these areas are very small, so if you begin to plow them under or, or pave them over, you're on, you just can't replace them, okay? And so we need to protect these areas because they often have a ton of endangered species because they're found no other place in the world. And look at how many places on our planet are ecological hotspots. Now look at these. This is part of our rapidly growing um, Asian part of the world where these populations are exploding. The, these uh, societies are becoming more and more developed. Uh, look at this along the Mediterranean. You can't find really a more populated area than the Mediterranean Rim. Okay, Amazon forests, rapid deforestation is causing a problem with that. Okay, another way that we can help protect biodiversity is through captive breeding programs. The zoos and people around the world are trying to breed these animals so we don't lose them. Okay, and this has been really important when it comes to our tigers because the tigers live in these heavily developing areas where there's a, a population boom and their habitats being altered, in fact, being destroyed. Okay? All right, we're going to stop right there. So until our next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.